but we have gotten lucky with no severe weather. Very nice because, you know, those plans are in place. They've got special sirens out of the golf course if that were to happen. But you think tomorrow's going to be a fantastic day for day number one of play? Yeah, tomorrow's going to be one of the nicer days I think that we're going to have. Friday, though, is going to be a bit different as I do expect some widespread rain. Here's a look at that forecast for tomorrow. Temperatures with a little bit more sunshine and drier conditions will be around 80 degrees. We'll cool off just a tad on a Friday. 100% uh, chance of rain, though. I do have high confidence in that and then some scattered showers will still be lingering as we head into our Saturday afternoon as well. Those temperatures still near about 80 degrees. We're going to do a little bit of a radar tour here with Max HD radar. You can see a few of those lightning bolts showing up. Not much of anything here around the metro area, but parts of Nelson County seeing a little shower there near Boston. For instance, Nelsonville, you'll also get a little bit of a light to moderate shower here not too long from now, but the heavier rain is to the west of I 65 Mockport near Brandenburg as well. Well, seeing some of that heavy rain falling. We have we have this nice little band that's uh, really blown up as it's passed south of Leavenworth, but that's also going to begin to rain itself out here relatively soon as it continues to push south. Also Crawford County north of English, you'll probably see some more rain here within the next few minutes as well. And a little bit further back to our south there along the Western Kentucky Parkway East View, you've uh, got clipped by a little uh, downpour there, but heading into Hart County near Bonneville, that's where we're seeing some more of the organized heavier rainfall at the moment, but no severe weather. That's the good news, and I don't anticipate us having any severe weather in our forecast either. Here's a look at future cast as we head deeper into the evening. We'll see those rain showers gradually dry up as they lose that uh, energy from the sunshine. We'll wake up tomorrow morning to mostly sunny skies for us. Temperatures will be around 60 degrees and heading into the afternoon. We could still see a couple of isolated pop up showers develop similar to today, except tomorrow they'd be moving from west to east rather than north to south, and those will also dry up as we head deeper into the evening, but things begin to change quite a bit on Friday. Here's the start of our Friday. A couple of light showers around there. Looks like we're getting a new model run coming in at the moment. As we head into the early afternoon hours, we should see widespread rainfall in the region. Light to moderate at times. Although we technically have a risk level one out of five for severe weather on Friday, I don't expect us to have any significant problems, but we could have some heavier downpours or some embedded thunderstorms with this. Rain tries to weaken a little bit as we head into the late afternoon and early evening hours, so about 48 hours from now. Some more showers rotate on the backside of this storm system heading into our early Friday night and then we're a bit drier waking up on Saturday morning. Temperatures will be in the lower 60s, but as you saw with that PGA Championship planner, I think we'll see some more showers develop heading into our Saturday afternoon. So still something to uh, keep in mind. Here's a look now at the seven day forecast and uh, around 80 tomorrow dipping just a bit there on Friday back to the 80s on Saturday, middle 80s on Sunday, and then temperatures really warm up for Monday and Tuesday of next week. We could be making a run at the upper 80s to start out, especially with uh, drier conditions Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. But that drier stretch does not last for too long as we are going to see more shower chances returning beginning on Wednesday next week.